What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Gregory Russo. Um, Edge out of Miami. Um, probably going to get a lot of hate for this video, to be honest with you. Because I looked at the film. I got my notes next to me. I think he's a little overrated. People are talking about him being the edge rusher, the best edge rusher in this class. I don't see it, man. I'm going to be honest. Uh, he opted out. I wish we could have seen him this year. Um, I don't think he's that great. He's not awful. He's not totally without talent. But uh, I think he's very raw. Uh, he has a little bit of athleticism. First of all, he's 6'7", about 265. But he's super lanky. Which isn't necessarily a problem for me, but I was expecting, because of his build, for him to be a little bit more athletic than he was. Now, he's not slow. Don't get it twisted. He's got okay ball get off and everything like that. Uh, and the length is an asset, especially the long arms. But um, he doesn't always use them too well. He kind of just gets caught up on blocks. I have seen him use spin moves, and I've seen him pull cloth, but it's nothing consistent. Um, a lot of times, he just kind of puts his hands on people, like, and then he, he kind of just gets caught, and then that's it. He doesn't move. A lot of the sacks he had were honestly offensive linemen doing stupid shit. Those four sacks that he got against Florida State wasn't on him. He was beating up on that right guard because that right guard was making bad decisions. To be honest with you. Um, now, if you get him with a good D-line coach... Teach him to use his hands a little bit better. You know, teach him how to really use those long arms and the little bit of athleticism that he has to better benefit what he can do. Maybe maybe you can develop a player out of him. But to say he's the best edge rusher in this class, I'm not going to get into, spe into specifics because I'm not ready to talk about them yet, but I've already found edge rushers way better than him that aren't being talked about as much. People are talking about him. And here's the thing. I wouldn't be this critical of him if people were talking about him as a day two pick. Like a second or third round player. I would not be as hard on him. But people are talking about him being a potential top ten overall draft pick. So I gotta be brutally honest. I gotta hold him to a higher standard because of that. Because if you're gonna be a potential top ten prospect, you better be... Pretty damn good. But, uh, nah, man. He, ain't, he That ain't it, bro. Uh, he just seems really raw to me. He's not really that good with his hands. Um, he's a very sometimes player as far as his hustle goes. I've seen him jog quite a bit. Um, especially in the beginning of games when, no, when nothing has really happened yet. He doesn't seem to be kind of to be trying all that hard all the time. Um, he has like explosions of hustle where you know it looks really good. Um, the tenacity looks really good on some plays, but it it just doesn't stay. Um, it, it's not a even most of the time thing. So, like I said, maybe a good D line coach can help him. But right now. I wouldn't. I haven't looked at this whole class. I don't know what all the edge rushers look like yet. But if he was in like last year's class, I wouldn't even take him over Caleb on Chase on. Now there ain't no um. There ain't no Chase Youngs in this class. There ain't no like top dog. You know, amazing edge rushers in this class. At least not that I've seen. But this dude, he, he ain't the top edge rusher. He just not. People are going to hype him up, and I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this video. But I have a good feeling that by the time he's on the field on an NFL roster, I'm going to be proven right. At least in his rookie year. He might end up having a good career eventually. Because like I said... He does have the raw skills to be a good player. He's just very raw. Very raw. So. 
Yeah, it was actually kind of disappointing because, like, the way people were hyping him up, like, I got into some players that were pretty trash. I was kind of looking forward to getting to a really good edge rusher. That's kind of why I skipped ahead. Because I'm trying to, like, I usually try to go position at a time. I was trying to knock out quarterbacks as much as possible before I moved positions, but I got bored at looking at quarterbacks. I'm like, eh, let's look at an edge rusher. Who's the top on the list that people are talking about? Oh, Gregory Russo. Cool. Let's take a look at him. Pull up the film. Uh, uh uh-uh. uh. That ain't it, bro. I had to go watch uh, two more D linemen to get the taste out of my mouth. I'm going to get some hate for this. But whatever. I don't care. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. Give any questions or comments, even the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.